hi guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to be doing a natural soft glam makeup look like this for a date night i'm it's valentine's day currently i am on my way to a special dinner with me and my um with me obviously with me i'm me but with my husband he won't tell me where we're going it's a surprise he just told me to get really nice so I'm super excited. I have everything already picked out, which I'll show you guys everything at the very end of the video. I'll add some clips in and all that. So just keep watching. All right, guys. I don't know about you, but I am so happy. Nail check in. Just got these redone yesterday, and I really love them. This is just um, gel black polish, and then some of my fingers have the like glitter topping my nail tech i go to one specific girl now oh this brush has not been used in so long it's kind of rough but i'm gonna use it but i go to one nail tech and every time i go to her she does every design how i want to like i'm never disappointed in her designs the quality is always there her work is just so so good but aside from her work because it's awesome to have cute nails and stuff my nails never lift. That last set, the Valentine's Day set, the red and pink set, lasted me about three and a half weeks. And no finger was lifting. And it's been like that ever since I started just going to her. I've noticed when I go to other people, my nails, they may not lift right away, but they do lift eventually. But with her, they just never lift. She always does such a good job. I'm going to do my eyebrows with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. It's been a minute since I used this, so I just want to use it today. I have not used this in a minute, so I don't even know if I'll still be good at it. I don't know what made me pull this back out. I'm just following the natural line of my actual brow. Is my brow too thin? But I have naturally thin brows though, so I mean, I feel like that's fine. I don't know what's gotten into me, you guys. I had a rough couple of weeks, and I'm sure you guys could probably tell that by my last upload, but I've just been in a really happy mood lately, and today is Valentine's Day. It is February 14, and tomorrow, my brother-in-law is having a baby shower for his daughter who will be here in March, which I'm so excited. This will be my first niece, so I'm super, super excited. And I got her some really, I got her like, I got his girlfriend like some stuff off her registry, of course. One item was, well, two items were very personal. One was like my favorite childhood story bedtime story i i ended up actually purchasing one for my new niece and my son because it was my favorite story as a child but i got her this 20 24 i got her this 14 karat gold um heart it's like a puff heart necklace so she can keep it and i don't know it's for it's made for like a little girl so i'm just i just want her to have it so i'm really excited about that this is probably no good anymore i'm not sure i don't even remember how it was supposed to apply but i don't remember it being this difficult Oh, I just really messed up my brow, huh? I mean, like, really bad. I just made it way too thick. <sighs> now I remember why I stopped using this. Let me try to fix this up a little bit. see if I can clean this up with like a makeup remover or something or maybe I should just redo the whole brow but I really don't feel like it 
Look at my eyebrows. Wow. You know what? Just forget it. We're just going to start over. <laughs> this is rough. That's right, guys. Not even the best always get it right when they do their makeup. Not saying I'm the best because I'm definitely not. There's always new things to learn, but I could say I'm pretty experienced applying my makeup, but sometimes it's usually with this pomade. I've, I see why I stopped using it though, but I do like how I applied it on this, like I like the way my eye looks. But I always get this brow better than this one. I don't know why. Okay, so I feel like pomade is a lot more difficult to apply, but when you apply it correctly, like when it goes on the way you want it to, it looks great. Like your brows look super bold. Even the tails look good in my brow. Just gonna set that with some Benefit Brow Gel. I never do my brows on camera, and it takes me like my brows and my eyeshadow are always the longest steps when I apply makeup. So. And plus, I just feel like it's kind of redundant. Well, not so much the eye look. I like doing the eye look on camera, but the brows and like applying eyelashes, I just, I don't really care for watching it on YouTube. Not sure if you guys do. I'm going to clean up my brows with my Ulta Full Coverage Creamy Concealer. loving my brows i'm not doing any special eye look today i'm just gonna pop on like some brown shadow i think i'm gonna just do something like very soft because i have a very i have a black dress but it like has shimmers all over i'm not sure if i'm gonna just do the a makeup like a date night makeup look or i'm gonna like do the makeup look and do like a vlog but we'll see i'm gonna go into my tati beauty palette and i'm going to take smooth matte and I'm just going to place that all over the lid just to kind of like make my lid kind of the same color as like the rest of my face got some new eyeshadow brushes in my boxy charm this month um and these are by moda and they're very soft the packaging almost like reminds me of like a, a Kat Von D brush I'm taking smooth taking this brush and I'm just putting it all over the lid And I'm literally just packing it on, not even packing it, just tapping there and just kind of sloppily putting it all over the lid. Um, I guess you can go into the crease and like blend it out just to smooth out the look or whatever. Go back in one more time on the other eye. 
I love the way my brows are looking, but I think I'm going to do a wing liner and I'm not good at wings. So I'm going to get my elf eye tapes and do it that way because my wings are just no bueno. By the time this video goes up, it'll be after Valentine's Day. So I hope you guys had a good Valentine's Day. guys want a perfect black eyeliner that's matte and doesn't budge at all and it stays forever the benefit roller lash liner is the best eyeliner i have ever tried in my life the best better than kat von d better than stila better than tart better than everybody this is the best eyeliner ever well felt tip liner i don't know if they have like a pencil liner but this is really good and I take my eye and I stretch it out. Okay, I didn't do that properly, obviously. Okay, I am not the best at wing eyeliner, so I'm not even sure if I did a good job at this. I'm not sure how it's supposed to look. <laughs> that wing took me just as long as a simple eyeshadow look. So I'm not even sure if I did it right. But this is what they look like. full battery now my camera's about to die gonna prime my face with my elf jelly pop primer taking my hourglass stick foundation in the shade natural amber
This is definitely looking really yellow on camera, but it's really not, I swear. It looks totally different on camera. It almost looks yellow on camera or like olivey, like an olivey yellow. So since my camera is dying, I won't be vlogging. Sorry guys. And I'm blending this out with my e.l.f. sponge. This is actually like my favorite sponge to blend out makeup with. Period. I seriously need to hurry up. I don't want to waste footage. Oh, I literally had a full battery earlier. Like when I started filming. So I'm not even sure like what happened. You guys, this is my favorite concealer right now. Hands down. Hourglass uh, Vanish something concealer. What is it? Yeah, whatever. Alright guys, in the time that my camera died, I almost had a meltdown. I planned on wearing my favorite pair of lashes tonight, but when I got up to get my lash glue, all of a sudden one was missing. I looked everywhere for it. I cannot find it. It's okay. I was already frustrated about my camera dying, but we're here. So I've done my concealer, and I have... Um, apply my lashes so now we're gonna do some bronzer Fenty Sun Stalker bronzer I have gotten so much use out of this if you cannot tell and I just love how this one looks so seamless and smooth on my skin for whatever like I love the Kat Von D one it really does a good job at contouring and I understand that this is bronzer and that's contour but this just contours my face in my opinion so much better and it just doesn't look muddy on me because even when I try to use like that middle lighter shade with the Kat Von D palette it just still looks really like muddy I don't know like too gray for me and it could be because my face has warm undertones in it so it just doesn't sit right on my complexion but You guys, I'm so excited for dinner. Sherrod will not tell me where we're going. He just told me to look nice. So, I'm super excited. I want to know where we're going. Can't wait to drink. Going to fix my bronzer, kind of clean it up with my Becca Hydro Mist setting powder. I really do like this powder and I really wanted to try a powder that was brown and not white or not translucent but it takes away like all of the brightening that I do with my concealer but I mean it's okay I guess I'm gonna go into my Iman and Catrice blush I've been wearing like a lot of blushes with shimmer in them specifically Shayla and Colourpop's blush but I also wear that Buxom primer infused blush and they all have little flecks of glitter which I feel like has been really crucial to my skin issue going on right here so I'm gonna wear like a matte blush today I'm gonna do Luxor and should I mix it with Cairo I think I'm gonna mix yeah I'm gonna mix these two this orange and this whatever brownie shade down here I love this brush this is from the Sephora collection brush set this is like a it's like a $70 set but it literally comes with every single eye brush every single face um, brush and then like the actual makeup bag oh I have a little dot on my face not cute not cute got a little carried away there with blush I just love the way this applies blush though even though this says it's a highlight and contour brush whoops 
must be why the blush is so packed on. gonna go back into my it cosmetics mascara and just do my under eye I'm not putting on any liner or eyeshadow on my lower lash line I just want to do like a really simple eye look well not eye look but makeup look tonight so nobody's distracted but anything but my beautiful gown and my beautiful face. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. The, the highlighter just it shows these bumps. Oh my goodness. I have like a line of bumps right here. Jacqueline Hill. Jacqueline Hill. Now to set my face, I'm going to go into my Charlotte Tilbury Press Setting Powder, which is very well loved. Should I go into my Jaclyn Hill lipstick or my Marc Jacobs lip lacquer? I think I'm going to do Marc Jacobs tonight. Oh, yes I am. Look how natural that looks. And this is in the shade Love Drunk. The number is 320. I love this lip color. Alright guys, this is the final and completed look. I will definitely insert some clips of my entire Valentine's Day date night look for you guys because I cannot take my camera with me. I didn't realize the bag that I'm carrying tonight is a little too tiny. I'm going to do a few unboxings here shortly, but thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you all had a great Valentine's Day with your friends, significant other, whoever, family, doesn't matter. Even if you spent it with yourself and Netflix. I used to do that too. Um, but yeah, so don't forget to like and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys very soon in my next one. Bye.